That one will go over here. Bring that one over. Where do you want it? Over there? Yeah. Oh, over there. Go up. Right on top of the last one? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we need two in the back. What's that? We'll space them out after we, we're done. Go in that V. Right yeah, there. right there. Okay, the next one over here. Get two for the front. Crisscross cr with that last one you put. Yeah. Okay, two in the front. Okay, you guys, memorize this. Yeah, you gotta know where to put the. What's that? Okay, up. Lift her up. Okay, lift her. Go up. In between that last V. Well, this pretty shield. That that's my Blackfoot name. Last V right there. Right there. No, the other side. Yeah. Cal Williams. That's a residential school name. You need longer rail. That one should be a little longer. Because we're going to be moving it around. Get a longer one. Today I got invited by uh, my younger brother, uh, Buffalo Collar, to put up this black, this uh, teepee, Blackfoot style. We put up our lodges with the four pole system. Okay, the next one goes this. We find that it can. Uh, withstand very strong winds when you have to pour. And our teepees are a perfect cone. Right at the middle of that bow of the teepee, okay? That's where you're gonna tie. They're not as large as this one here. Usually uh, we have probably about a 20 footer. And uh, this is a 30 footer. It's a very tall log. The first thing you have to do to put up a, a Blackfoot Lodge is to spread out the canvas in half to, to make the measurements. Once you have this in half and you have it all snug, spread out, then you take the four main ones that are going to be holding up all the other poles. You set the two front ones, about five four to five uh, feet from the, uh, the doorway. And you overlap them six to eight inches on both sides. So the front and the back will be, will be the same. If you are gonna put up a teepee where the ground is not level and it's sloping to the west, the two back ones will go out more than the front. The front, you have to push them in. So that way they align themselves to the slope of the ground. And same, you do the same thing if the slope, if the slope was like this, if it was on the, the, the doorway. The two front ones will overlap more than the back. You have to four main ones together right in the middle of that bow is where you're going to tie them. That's where you tie them. And once you measure that, then you put out, you, you get your main rope that ties the lodge down and we're going to pull it up. We have to have a bunch of uh, 
guys to help us when we lift this up. This is a big lodge. Okay, you grab this. You grab this. Put your feet to the to the rails. This one. This one. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna pull on them as hard as you can, okay? Pull on them. Okay, good. Okay, give me yours. Loosen yours up. Keep yours tight. Give it back to him. Pull on it. Okay, pull. Tight, tight. Okay. This one. Loosen yours. Okay, pull on it. Okay. Pull on it. Tight. Really pull on it. Pull hard, boy. Okay, Lynn, same with... This one, no? Pull on this. Once we get this up, we'll, we'll show you how to spread the, the poles, okay? Go up. up. Right up. Okay, you guys go under the right. Go under the. Come over. Pull up. Okay, now you you keep it like this. Pull on. Yeah. Okay, that 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 one there. This one goes over here. The top one goes that way. Go that way, Lynn. Yeah. Keep going, keep going. Right there, right there. Okay, as long as those don't move. Hey, that's okay, you guys, over here, over here. Be careful how you move. Okay, uh. Hey, Calvin. Yeah. We want to get our teepee as close to that bush as we can. Okay, that's what I'm saying. We're going to move them back, okay? Should we move that teepee pole out of there? Yeah, get it out of there. Okay, the front can stay there for now. Do we need some helpers on this canvas? We need more. We need way more people. We gotta put the butter in that way. They said it was that way. <laughs> it's almost noon and the sun's over here. Okay, what we can do, we can move it over a bit. That's what I'm yeah. yeah. Where's the sun come up from? Right over here. If you're looking at six o'clock in the morning, it should be right over here down the It doesn't have to be perfect east, but uh move the floor that way. In the winter, yeah. Look at when you get up, here. Okay, you guys hold on to those two front ones. Okay, grab this one here. So that this this is really important. This is the main thing that okay. you measure. Right. These four. Once you get this past this, then you just lift it up and put all the other rails. It should it should have a nice uh uh the teepee should be high enough to let air come in for ventilation, okay? Yeah, so that's about right there? That's too low. That's too low, right? Too low. Okay. Probably six to eight inches. You know, you need a nice breeze, eh? And then the liner sits The liners will, yeah, but the breeze goes up that it draws the smoke up. When I first had a teepee, we were only shown once. They only, uh, they only showed us once, and we had to uh, put it up the next year and all the following years, the same way those old people showed us. Whoa, be careful. If you can't comprehend or grasp how you set it up, uh, they're gonna laugh at you until you learn how to uh, Put it up. <laughs> I want to get a picture of this. The camera's got to be in, it's got to be out. Go up, go up, go up. Turning, turning it. Come this way. Oh, no. Hold on to the canvas, you guys. We got, it's tied to this side. Go in between those two, Lynn. 
Huh? It's got to go over to the right. We always have a ceremony. We, we uh, especially if we have tobacco, we offer tobacco to the spirit helpers, to creator, so that he can bless this whole, all the land that's here. And all the people that are gonna be coming here will be blessed that they take something good back to their families. The thing that all humans want is to live life in a good way not to be affected by health or any kind of negative uh, happenings. Boom. Boom. You're the man, right? Where's the doorway? Oh, 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 too far. Right there. Hey, pull it right around, guys. Right around. Right around. How are you going to get up there to stitch it? <laughs> okay, we need a ladder, you guys. Yeah. Any monkeys around? <laughs> Mine are all in the zoo. <laughs> <laughs> we, need, we need a ladder. Uh, get that flap out with a light pole. Yeah, when you get up there, you can pull that out. You gotta get that out, you guys. Go back. Oh, yeah, I see what you're doing. Yeah. Okay. All right, you got your pegs? Okay. Where did I see a ladder? There was a ladder somewhere. In the lodge. What we call those up there? What? Sapi kinematsis. That means button. Sapi kinematsis. Ah, Sapi Kinema. It's the smallest and the lightest. AJ. Where did you put that bubble? And in the black foot we have names for these poles. These these poles, the main ones, they have a name. The ear poles have a name. The ribs have a name. Because they do they do different things. Okay? <laughs> One of you ladies, yeah. come help hold this camera. How many are there? Yeah, I know, did you come? You got buttons? <laughs> Holy. <laughs> no pain, no gain. He's doing good, Paul. Right on, Ryan, looking good. <laughs> Once it's all. <laughs> <laughs> What we're gonna do is we're gonna guys are gonna push them up, eh? okay? Okay. As far as you can. Or? Yeah. Okay, hang, can. On, hang on. We're gonna get up here. We need two guys in, on over the here. Over here. Grab your rope. No, just these two main ones. The main poles. The main ones. You guys grab the rope and when they're lifting it up, you guys pull it over. Okay. What do we do? Okay. Grab help those guys. Where's the other main poles? The two we need over there. guy over here. And somebody on the rope. What are we going to do with these ones now? We're going to move them. You're going to push them out. Push them just out. those two? Yeah, just those two. Have the rope, you guys. So you got to pull down on the rope so it takes the pressure out of the pole. Okay, ready? Go. Right More? there. Let's see how much they've got uh, to work with outside. So I take okay. The the now over here. And you can move them to the pole. Over here. Bring the rope. Now we're going to go the other two, this one. Same time. Ready? Go. Lift yours up. Pull down on it. Pull on it. There. Yeah. Okay, pull on the canvas, you guys. Okay, one more I feel great. I feel great. Really uh, blessed today. Blessed by the weather and blessed by elders coming to help us today. So uh, the reason we put up this teepee, you know, is to really celebrate uh, who we are as Aboriginal people, as Indigenous people of the land. So we want to put up our different lodges from represent our, our nations and, uh, you know, so it uh, symbolizes, you know, their teachings and uh, how we work together. Because a long time ago, of course, this was, uh, this was Blackfoot land. You know, this belonged to the Blackfoot nation and as they Crees and Blackfoot made trees, their own treaties, had uh, the relationships that uh, carried on to this day still. So it's a way of honoring all those things from the past. Good job. Yeah. It's a good job, nice though. Meeting yeah, you folks. it's I a good go. job. Okay. It's all so set. Sure to see you again. Keep on. Oh. Super nice. Thanks. Our ancestors did not have teepees to begin with. They went through an evolution, different uh, phases of, of uh, 
shelters. Uh, one of our elders explained uh, the sequence of our lodge making, of how we found shelter. And that story was passed down to me so that I could share with others. When our people were here to begin with, they found shelter like the animals. They uh, went into caves, dugouts, and they even used a beaver den to, to find shelter, something that was abandoned. The next phase that they, that they started to get more intelligent, they started to make lean-tos that they can crawl under. Lean-tos were very simple to make. Then they, they found out that they could use hide, buffalo hide, and they started to learn the tanning techniques. At first, they weren't proficient in tanning hide. They had a very rough uh, uh, finish to the tanning that they did. And, uh, but they were able to design a teepee in a cone shape. They were the ones that designed the comb. And today, we still use that uh, design for our teepees. Uh, at first, they used rocks to weigh the canvas, I mean, the, the hide down, prevent draft from entering the teepee. That's where the teepee rings come from. Those are old lodges. But some of the lodges, especially ones that belong to a war chief, were, were about this big. They were, uh, if you see some of the teepee rings, you, you find two, uh, fireplaces in the lodge and that was to you know to to heat up a big uh, teepee our people became more intelligent with their tanning and then they uh, started using pegs to weigh the teepee down and they had enough opening in there to ventilate their fire so that it goes up into the uh, the top of the te the lodge So our people, they adapted to their environment and they slowly started to find ways to find better shelter.